They say time is currency, a currency that we can only spend once. And time seems to be more valuable than money or things of this world. For this beautiful house in the South, time has stopped and has been frozen forever. We can look at this home and let it shine a light on our own lives. We must use our time wisely while we have it because you never know when it could be gone forever. What's up guys, it's Big Banks back again for another video today. As you can tell, we are at a beautiful Victorian mansion here in the south. This place reminds me a lot of the Stranger Things house, Vecna's house, but look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna take a walk around it, go inside, check out what's left. I think everything is left in here. And then we're gonna tell the story. We're gonna tell the story of what's going on with this and why it's left the way it is, but it is beautiful, guys. It's a beautiful day out here. Beautiful exploration. I'm with all my friends here in the south. We got Chase, Alex, Justin, and yeah, I'll leave everything down in the description for them. But let's take a look around this beautiful old southern mansion. Walk up to the front porch. Check it out. Big, grand front porch here. A lot of stuff left up here on the porch of this house. Surprisingly, it's not painted blue on the ceiling. Typically, you see that a lot in these old houses here. Got like uh, cinder blocks as the steps, so maybe they had to replace those over time. Beautiful land that this would have been on if it would have been kept up, but it's not. And of course, the woodwork all around the porch is just incredible. Oh, check it out. There's like a baby carriage right here. That is old. That looks crazy. Look at this beautiful home. Hold on, I gotta get a good shot of the front. You guys gotta see the magnitude of how beautiful this is. This is first video of this southern trip. And the first house that we're seeing is this beautiful, beautiful home. So, let's go around to the back. Let's see what it looks like back there. And we'll go inside and check it out. So, hope you guys are enjoying this video. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go around to the back and check it out. So we've made our way to the back of the house and this looks like some sort of shop or something. This looks like a pool. I can't tell though. This is the back side of this mansion right here. Got a lot of stuff kind of scattered about out here. It's such a weird house, weird property. Kind of walking around the back right now. Look at that. All right, now that we have seen the outside of this house, it's time for us to go inside. Now, I'm excited to show you guys what's left in here. Looks like a lot of stuff, but we haven't been able to tell quite yet. So let's go ahead, let's go inside. Let's check out what's left in this abandoned mansion. But first, let's hear the story of why it's left like this. Let's go. In today's exploration, we venture to the south to explore an abandoned Victorian mansion with everything left behind. Dating back to 1890, this masterpiece of a house was owned by a businessman in the furniture industry who was very prominent in the area. He and his wife had three children, one who even played professional baseball for the New York Yankees. And through the years, the mansion was passed down in the family until the 1990s when a new family purchased the home. Not much is known about the most previous family, but judging by the interior, they were very much a loving and caring couple with children that they supported through and through. But unfortunately, an old home like this became too much to keep up and started falling apart, forcing them to leave and becoming too dangerous to come back and get their belongings. So join me today and let's see what's left. All 
All right, everyone, we made it into the abandoned mansion here. This is a southern mansion, so it's going to be um, kind of really cool. I know we already saw the outside. The outside is pretty fantastic. It looks like a, like a haunted house, like you'd see in like a movie. Almost kind of resembles um, Vecna's house from Stranger Things. Very cool. Anyways, I'm upstairs. I'm going to start you guys upstairs, work our way downstairs. And um, this place is very cool. It's very old and everything is still left behind here. We know we love seeing those time capsules. Now that we're inside and we've already heard the incredible backstory to this place, let's take a look around at what the previous owners left behind whenever they had to leave this place. I can tell you already, you're in for a treat. This place is pretty cool. So I wanna start you guys at the very top of the stairs here. The stairs are absolutely beautiful and you're gonna love the way they look when I actually get down there to show you this. As you can see, pink walls all through here. You see that a lot in these southern old mansions. You'll see pink and blue, a lot of those colors. So we're gonna walk straight through into these bedrooms right through here and see what's left behind. So this is the first room we're walking into. And this room was not a bedroom. This was more of a common space. As you can see, there are couches, chairs, things like that. There's speakers in here. There's even an old record player over here. And I have to be really careful where I walk because a lot of this house is collapsing. So one wrong step and it could be bye-bye. But anyways, there is a very neat little record player right there. It looks like a bunch of different stereos going through the whole thing. Obviously we got these older looking chairs. These are the kind of chairs I'd see in like waiting rooms of like churches or funeral homes, things like that. But you see that a lot in these older Southern houses. You can see it's all pink in here and the architecture here is just amazing. It goes green carpet, pink wall, and then you have this really, really nice woodwork right above this doorway. And everything kind of flows together. So we have one, two, three bedrooms upstairs. So let's go into our first bedroom right here. Walking in, I see a lot of water bottles. That kind of gives off a squatter vibe, which could be the case here. There could be a squatter here. Not 100% sure, but very well could be. But nothing looks too new and the beds haven't don't look like they've been slept on or anything. We're gonna walk through this. As you can see, there is some damage that has been done to the place just by the decay over time. I mean, this has been abandoned for many years. As you can see, you got the toys here. And a place like this probably was deteriorating before they even left it. Makes it seem like it's been abandoned a lot longer, but realistically, this place has only been abandoned for about a decade, maybe a little bit longer than a decade. Chairs, the rugs, the couch, the bed, it's all here. So we'll take a look around. I gotta be really, really careful on this floor. It looks like it dips right there in the middle and I really don't want to fall through. That would definitely ruin my day. We got some records over there. Beautiful windows. This place is really, really, really pretty. And I can only imagine back in its prime, this place had to be so grand. It's the most grand house on the street too. Every other house is like a small little ranch house. And then you got this big two-story Victorian here. So looks like we're good to walk over here. So as we can see, we get over here to the dresser and we see like, this is why it's not terribly old. Here's a Chrome Cast Ultra. Those definitely aren't that old. So like I said, just around a decade ago, this place was left and you can see all of their belongings. These are some blankets and sheets probably socks and stuff. These drawers have not been opened in a very long time, so they're gonna be a little bit harder to pop open. So we're just gonna leave them alone. This is like a puzzle that they've put together and framed of a Southern house. It's really cool. They've got the rugs in here. Everything kind of goes together. This looks like a little closet that maybe I almost thought that was like a like a fridge or something, but it's not. Looks like they maybe did homework in this little space. There's a desk in here, a car bar. <laughs> For some people that don't know, these car bars, I actually have one for my car because uh, 
you put these on cars that get stolen a lot. So basically this, put this on the steering wheel and it makes them unable to turn the steering wheel. <laughs> that way your car is less likely to get stolen. Um, yeah, I have to use one of those <laughs> on my car because my car is one of the most stolen cars in America. So that's great. <laughs> Look over at the bed. It's a king size bed. And I can't tell, I don't think this is a master bedroom. I believe this is just one of the children's bedrooms. I think the master is downstairs. Um, but as we can see, there's a big nice rug underneath the bed. And it looks like they were trying to work on stuff because there's a bunch of outlets here, things like that. But as you can tell, they didn't get very far with much because this whole place is just left. Here's even some more like things with clothes. This actually has like phone books and uh, cassette tapes and everything like that inside of it. You can see there's more things of that sort in here. Trousers in there. It's where they kept some of their books. Then leads into the bathroom. This is a very tiny bathroom and it's a closet at that too. So like all the person's clothes are hanging up right here. This is a tiny, tiny bathroom. Look at that. All the clothes still here. TV back here. And then there's the toilet through that door, but it's really tight, tight squeeze. Now we still got a bit to go and this is just the first one. I'm gonna try not to rush through anything. I wanna show you guys as much as I possibly can. When we get downstairs, it gets really good. But also some of it is kind of clapped out. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna get off this floor before it breaks in. Let's go to the next bedroom. We're gonna go to my left here and we're gonna see this room is really blue and it looks like they were packing stuff up in here. So uh, the bed is leaning up against the wall there. The bed frame is actually behind it. So the bed must have been in that corner over there. Dresser, everything on this side. I'm trying to give you a feel of how this room was set up. It's really blue in here, like an aqua blue. There could be lead paint in here too. So just got to be careful. Check it out. Fireplace, all the teal fireplace in here. Some stuffed animals. King size beds in every room so far. A king size bed in here. As you can see, the ceiling is just caving in. I'm not gonna walk around too much in here. I can't see the floor too much. And I don't wanna fall through. I really don't wanna fall through. Lots of water damage through this house. So let's move on to our next bedroom. So we go across the common space. And this bedroom looks pretty clean. Well, for the most part. So we have another Big old king size bed in here. You got multiple bags of luggage. It's kind of scattered throughout. Maybe they were packing stuff up. It just always kind of throws me off when a family has stuff like they're ready to go and then ends up not taking it like really anything. It's confusing in a way, but you know, it's sad. Another king size bed though, you guys can see. This room has more like stuffed animals and uh, things like that. So maybe a kid stayed in here, or maybe this is where they just kind of stored everything. There's a lot of books up in this closet, as you can see, world books. It's mostly just world books, encyclopedias and stuff like that. Wanted to point out the blue walls all in here. I told you guys it goes from like pink and blue in these old houses most of the time. We have another fireplace. Looks like they covered it up. So I wonder if they installed central heat and air through this place and that's why they covered these up. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments, but we can see here that there are actually some family photos of the family that once lived here. It's like a mother and child. And I wanted to point out all this original hardwood flooring throughout the house. Very beautiful. It just sucks that this is going to be wasted away with time. This would be great hardwood floor to use, to be put to use, but it's, Unfortunately, just gonna cave in kind of like that wall over there So bedroom number three is not looking bad at all. It's just really scary You got some wicker things down here a couple wicker baskets right in time for Easter guys too. Easter is this weekend sewing machine Haven't heard of this brand Viscount. I usually see like Singer and things like that, but yeah, this is a This is a cool little house guys very um, Easter vibes too. 
could have been abandoned right around Easter. There's a bunch of Easter baskets everywhere too. That could have been the case here. And this one has its own bathroom. Floor is looking a little bit sketchy in here. I don't see it. Well, I thought I didn't see a toilet, but there's one right there. Some Christmas decorations. It's all very teal in this bathroom. There is a ladder that goes up. It's a little sketch, but this is such a cool room. Now guys, we need to try to find somewhere in here that has dates on it. Cause I really want to see the kind of the last dates that were in this house before it was left. But, um, you guys already know when it was abandoned because I do all kind of the checking after the explore. Cause sometimes we just find these places just driving around and don't really get to do a whole lot of checking on them. Um, beforehand as far as history goes. So, uh, yeah, more of these Easter baskets, all kinds of stuff in here. This is like a cube, like a family, family photo cube. You put Polaroids in these and you have all different sides of family photos, all the stuff left in here. Not a whole lot in this drawer. That is bedroom number three. So far the best room. But we have to go downstairs, which is still really good. So that's where we're heading next. If you enjoyed this upstairs, please comment down below your favorite part. And um, yeah, I can't wait to show you downstairs because it's actually really beautiful. And there's a really good room down there. So let's get downstairs. First, let's do a montage of this beautiful upstairs. And I'll see you down there. actually a whole nother section to the house but as you can see yeah looking pretty uh exhausted <laughs> i would say um so we're gonna go ahead and just go downstairs as you can see guys like i told you it's all pink in here very beautiful check it out we got a whole bunch of books stacked up right here but let's check out this beautiful staircase we're gonna go down. It's pretty sturdy, so I'm not too worried about the staircase. The woodwork alone, it's all white, pink, brown. Very cool color scheme going on here. And then it just gets way better, as you can see right there. Look at that woodwork, it's absolutely amazing. Even the littlest details around this, you can see they've carved it all intricately. There's even like a little crawl space here. Looks a little bit scary. If you ask me, I could hide some stuff in there. But let's go ahead and make our way down. As you can see, it goes from pink to this floral kind of fancy wallpaper. As you can see, the staircase does this little curvature right here as we go down onto this red carpet and then check this out. This is some amazing woodwork. Like this house was built very good. Looks amazing. So I think right now we're entering the main foyer of the house, as you can see, there's like mirrors hanging up, there's paintings, all kinds of stuff. And we gotta get a good look at everything. So now we're on the main floor. And this right here is the front door of this mansion. Now, right as you walk in, you're greeted with that amazing woodwork right above the door. Looks like a spider web almost. Got some stuff like they were working on right in here, mirrors, and check it out. We got a big cabinet, and I didn't even notice the chandelier. And it's still here, it's amazing. More cabinets, so they got a cup. Looks like for football or something. Check out this, look. America's next first couple, that's Barack Obama. They have it framed, and that was the family. They lived here, that was the husband and wife. Oh, look at this. We got a Wii. Of course we got a Wii. Wii's, Wii's are like amazing. 
I love, I love playing the Wii. Wii Sports is unmatched, honestly. I'm gonna get a really good look at this staircase here. That looks crazy. Look at this table full of knickknacks. Got some fake flowers, Lord's Prayer, stuff to hang your keys, little glass pieces and knickknacks of that sort. So we'll go back through here in just a minute. I want to show you guys this part because this part's kind of uh, all destroyed. And it's not destroyed from vandalism though, it's destroyed from natural decay. This house just gave up kind of. And as you can see, we have a whole nother bedroom back that way with everything still left behind in it. And maybe this is a the reason they couldn't take anything was because of this. The house just became condemned. So we're gonna try to make, we're gonna try to see as much on this side as we can, but we do have one bedroom back over there. So that's, so far that's four bedrooms and there's a couple more down here. So pretty large house. Check it out, piano left here. I see a lot of stuff that has to do with like the sea. So like there's this, that painting right there is a beach. There's a couple more beach paintings right over there. So maybe they had some sort of love for the beach, but honestly, who doesn't have a love for the beach? The beach is amazing. I love the beach. So if we kind of make our way back here a little bit, it looks like there's a bathroom, but I think this actually leads into the master, which might be a better way to get to it besides this all, this whole like collapsed part. The master bedroom is right over there. So we'll go there in just a minute. First, let's go this way. So straight from the front door, if you're coming straight in, you go to the right. And that's where we're gonna go right here. This is your main living room, still full of everything. You have one, two, three leather couches. I don't know if this table was supposed to be in here or if, I don't know, this place feels kind of cluttered at the same time, but this is your main living room. Pretty cool to say the least. I like all these leather couches in here. If this table wasn't here and there was like some sort of coffee table and rug, I feel like that would go way better together, but it looks like they just kind of ran out of room for things because there's so much clutter in some areas. But here's your main fireplace. Check this out. Here's even a lens for a camera. Looks like it's a 28 to 80 millimeter. As you can tell, it's like a mirror back here and that's the Lord's Supper right there depicted on that. Check it out, these knickknacks over here. And this, there's some things in here that I'm seeing that also give me some squatter vibes, like this. Like, these are just battery powered. There's a couple of them in here. So that makes me a little curious as to why that is. Looks like they had an iPhone. I think this is to like an iPhone 4, I believe. And that was, iPhone 4s were back in like 2013, something like that. So about a decade ago. Still haven't seen anything that might have dates on it, but they might've went to Mardi Gras or something because they got beads everywhere. Right here, full of beads right there. They could have been travelers. They could have been traveling around, seeing things like that. But what a cool living room. Like the nice glass table over there. All right, let's keep going around this home. So I'm gonna go straight across right here into our master bedroom. So check this out. I see a guitar here and the light is on. And that's a newer kind of light bulb. There's a tripod over there in the corner, couch here, rugs, and this nice guitar. It's in the shape of a Stratocaster, but it's not a Fender, so I can't really tell what brand it is. It's kind of faded off, but maybe they played some, some rock and roll or something up in here. That's really cool. Look at this big king size bed. And like I said, guys, so many king size beds. That bed, even over there, was king size. All three beds upstairs were king size. This is a king size. So everybody was sleeping large. Nice couches in here. The mirrors are all over the place. Look at this, even the guy's suits, like suits and ties, like ready to go. So if I'm not mistaken, that light looks like a colored light. Looks like it could be like, uh, like Bluetooth or something. Like you could change the color of it. 
Wonder why the power is still left on in here. If it's if it's falling apart so much, I feel like that's such a hazard. Look at the nice fireplace in here. I wonder if this was like meant to be a bedroom, or if this was meant to be some sort of parlor. Either way, they turned it into a bedroom. Fits it fits it really well. I like this place. The fireplace is so nice too. It looks like they still have some Christmas de decor up, like uh, this little sleigh here. That feels like a that looks definitely a like Christmas. So many just little things all about this house. And then we walk back here, and this is what I suspected from earlier. This is the bathroom. Old porcelain tub. Left a lot of stuff in here, all the towels and look at this baby powder. Um, their lotions, their soaps, their deodorants. All left in here. Such a yellow bathroom. There's a door here. So this is where like the water heater and stuff is. Kind of blowing my mind just seeing how this place has power. I mean, you guys saw how destroyed it was over there. I don't understand. How can that not be like a fire hazard or something like that? Like the place is so open to elements and rain and everything like that coming in. Is like, is it possible for just part of the house to be, have power and the rest not? Is that a thing? If you guys know, let me know in the comments, but that just blows my mind because half of this house is caved in. But let's keep going. First, look at the ceiling. I didn't even notice that. Ceiling is so cool. So yellow in here. I must have really liked yellow. But these southern homes are always colorful. You guys know that. Let's see what's on this side as we go through here. Maybe the kitchen. Maybe we're going to, maybe we're running into the kitchen now. We'll see. All right. What is this room? Beats me. You think this would be like a kitchen? It looks like like a main dining room maybe. Oh, dining room. Yeah. But I guess they were a big fan of like dens and stuff because there's one in there and then there's like another one and den? then another one. A den? Yeah, like like a, I don't know if it's a den or like a hangout spot. This is a very um, big family lived here. Huge. You know, like, you notice every bed is a king size bed? Yeah. Where do you go back there? <laughs> They've got this grandfather clock here. These go for some for some money. Floor is really beat up. I think this Alex is right. This was a dining room. They have all of these shelves going along the top. Looks like like garage shelves almost, but they have all the family portraits up there, some old antiques and lamps and things like that. You can see how this is drooping here. And I see something over here that just caught my eye. Looks really interesting. So I think that the, the kids that lived here were athletes. So hundreds of medals here for track. I said they're all track. 2009 Central Andros District Primary Sports. So they were very good at running. They were very fast. As you can tell, they have all these medals. This is such a big room too. Like this had to be the dining room, but there's no table in here. It's weird because like maybe they did were able to clean some of the stuff out, but just wasn't able to get it all. I'm not gonna spend too much time in here because we can't even get up there to look at that stuff anyways. It's too high up. But if we walk through here, the other stuff I can access over there. Do what? Other stuff that's like accessible over there. Oh yeah. Okay. Look at these. These are like brand new. So this part looks completely stripped. It's like not even flooring. It's just plywood. It's like, I don't even know what was going on here. Like maybe they were renovating. The place is very deteriorated, but we're getting to be where it's dark. So let's turn on our light a little bit. My panel light went out, so I'm just working with what I got until I can get another one today. It's like a little room here with like a little VCR TV clothes hanging up. This feels like a basement almost, but it's not. 
kind of just maneuver our way through all this. Look at that closet full of clothes. And it looks like another bedroom right here in this dark, decrepit area. Yeah, we got another bedroom. So this is all, this is all bed right here. Bed frame, some speakers up there. And it's just cluttered. It's just cluttered with stuff. Big entertainment system back there. Place for your TV and everything. All these like leather jackets in here. That's crazy. Like good looking leather jackets too. Yeah, it looks like they stuffed everything back here in this room. I'm trying to show you as much as I can, but it's so cluttered in here. <laughs> Check out that t-shirt. No, that's a cool t-shirt. <laughs> they have paintings. So many paintings in here. Like, check it out. There's paintings all through there, everywhere. So it looks like they tried their best to pack up what they could before they had to leave. And unfortunately, this is all they could get. Pretty beat up. Big couches in here. This is like another den area. Like Alex was saying, they like dens. They like to have their living spaces. It's a poster for New Zealand. I wonder if they traveled to all these places. And check it out. This is where the collapsing happened. Right through there. So it makes me wonder what's through like that door. What else could be hidden throughout this area right here. But we'll never know because it's completely collapsed. And if we walk in there, we're risking our lives more than we are now. And then we have our final bedroom here. What do you guys think? I'd say this place is pretty amazing. I'm gonna walk around that side again. I feel like I missed a part, so bear with me as we walk back over there, and see what we could have potentially missed. This house is big, and if there's nothing else we missed, then we'll call it, but let's go back over there. Just so you guys can see like everything that I'm seeing as I walk through this, my feet are very, you know, being careful as I can to not step through anything or on a, you know what I mean, on anything sharp. Let's see what we got going on. So this bedroom, couldn't really walk around much because it's just full of storage. So we gotta go back through here, through this sketchy uh, part. So making our way through here. You guys can see everything I'm seeing. There's like no walls in here either. This is weird. There's a door over on that side I'm gonna check out. So there's this door right here. I don't know what this leads to. I think this is the kitchen. Yeah, oh, that's weird. The microwave on. So this is the kitchen, guys. I knew we had to be missing something. I can already tell that that fridge stinks. Check it out, the fridge is actually Stainless steel, and they have another freezer over there, but check out the microwave being on over there. That's creepy. It's just weird looking. I'm scared to open the fridge because I know it's gonna be full of stuff. Well, let's go ahead. Oh my God. It's just eggs. Eggs and ketchup. Lots of eggs. Mmm, this stinks. Oh, this stinks real bad. Okay. Yeah, fridge is full. Um, yeah, so in our kitchen we got a table here. Got this like fake rock flooring. All different kinds of books. All the stuff is left in here. All of the silverware and plates, things like that. And then just, I mean guys, look at this. I mean, you can see the spider webs like on the door of this. Like we could cook something right now, but obviously not gonna do that. And this is your pantry. Wow. Full of pots and pans, Gatorade stuff, lots of kitchen utensils and things like that. All right guys, and that is the end of today's exploration. I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing abandoned house. This place, full of stuff, loaded with everything. And it's very beautiful. Gives me that, gives me that Stranger Things house vibes, the, uh, the, the Vecna's house from the outside. And the inside is just crazy, full of stuff. And 
honestly, really sad because you know we see these a lot and you know it's always some bad circumstances why people have to leave it like this, but it is what it is and it happens every day here in America and all over the world. So anyways, shout out to everybody that came with me. I will tag them all down below and hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment your favorite part down below in the comments and until next time, Big Banks out.